Yeah, it's been a pretty difficult year the last year, so prices have been falling uh, pretty steadily. Um, there was a kind of a period of stability through the middle part of last year, um, but, but other than that, prices have been falling uh, pretty much for the last two years, really. Um, been helped a little bit by the fact that, that feed prices have also been relatively low, which has which has helped maintain margins um, at a level that's that's kind of acceptable for most producers. Um, but 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 still undoubtedly tough times, and, and prices come down um, by about um, a third in that in, in the last couple of years. I, I, I mean I think that, I mean things are, things are certainly still tough at the moment. The early part of this year, prices fell quite sharply, but I think there are some signs that, that things are likely to get better. Um, the exchange rate, for example, that's, that's improved to the pound. The pound has weakened against the euro compared to, to last year. Uh, that will help our competitiveness, um, both against the sort of imported European product on our own market, um, but also on, on the export markets. On top of that, the European market seems to have kind of stabilised. It's at a very low level, but, it, but it's stabilised a bit. Uh, and we're starting to see a, a bit of a pickup in consumer demand as well, which has been a bit of a concern over the, over the last year. Well, it's been a bit of a perfect storm of issues. Um, there's been um, increasing production uh, here domestically, um, which has been a, a trend that's, had, that's been apparent over a number of years, and that, that's going to continue. Um, relatively subdued consumer demand as well, um, particularly for, for fresh pork over the last year, 18 months. Um, then on top of that you've got a European market which is also oversupplied. Um, the, the Russians' uh, ban on, on imports of, of EU pork has contributed to that, um, as along with uh, again subdued consumer demand on the, on the continent. Obviously the Eurozone crisis and things like that have had a big big impact uh, and then the exchange rate has also been been an influence um, in terms of our competitiveness relative to, to Europe which meant that our prices have, um, pig prices have been quite a bit higher than the European ones and, and, and that's, that's sort of pulled in some extra imports and created extra competition for our product at home but also made it much more difficult for us to export as well. I mean, it, it, Russia was the EU's biggest export market before the, the ban came into place and actually though uh, we've been, uh, Euro Europeans have been quite successful at diversifying their exports and particularly China has been, been a very strong market for them over the last year. Nevertheless, the loss of, of your biggest markets bound to have an effect and um, in particular on some of the, the byproducts that, that the Russians used to, to take in quite large volumes. So pig fat, for example, and, and large, they, they, were, they were the big buyers of that from, from Europe and nobody else really is, is buying it in any kind of quantity. So that's just taken some value out of uh, what, what can be achieved for the carcass and obviously that then has a knock-on effect on the amount that gets paid for pigs as well. One of the things from, from a domestic perspective, as, as I mentioned, kind of consumer demand has been struggling, but part of that's because people are looking for a different kind of product. They're looking for more sort of convenient products, easy, to, easy and quick to cook, and, and pork doesn't necessarily tick those boxes. So I think looking for developing new products that appeal to, if you like, the modern consumer, um, that, that's certainly something that, that can help and can, can drive that demand side but then opening up and, and looking for export markets that give an alternative outlet and provide extra value to the carcass uh, as well. So, so China's been doing particularly well at the moment um, and uh, we, that looks like that's going to continue to be the case for a while to come but probably won't last forever and actually trying to find other, other markets that can deliver that value as well will, will be very helpful. So um, you know, that's, that's, that's partly the industry working alongside government to try and open up those markets and identify those opportunities.